Hey YouTube, it's ICU, and today I'm going to show you guys how to easily and safely disable unnecessary launch daemons on your iPhone 4S, iPhone 4, iPhone 3GS, iPad Touch 4th and 3rd generation, as well as the original iPad and the iPad 2. Now this does work on iOS 5 and 5.0.1, and essentially launch daemons are processes or applications that start up with your device that run in the background that aren't underneath the user's control. So they start up automatically and they consume your system resources. So basically the main thing is that they take up RAM and that obviously slows your device down and makes it so it cannot open more applications and multitask as much as it could if it had more RAM. So basically what we're doing here is we are freeing up RAM and in turn that makes it so you can handle more applications running in the background at once which makes it faster. So if you aren't already jailbroken, you will need to do that. I will have links to my jailbreak videos down below in the more info. And once you are jailbroken, you can come back to this video, see how to disable the daemons and actually do it on your device yourself. It's extremely easy with this new tweak. However, I'm also going to show you guys a manual method of deleting daemons as well, because the easy tweak that I'm going to show you guys actually requires you to pay. So first, I'm actually going to show you guys the difference between having the daemons enabled and disabled. So let's actually bring up SB settings here. I did just do a fresh reboot. So I'm going to show you that right now it says I have 294 megabytes of available memory. That's the same as RAM. This is with all of the launch daemons enabled. And now I'm actually going to disable all of the unnecessary launch daemons. And I'm actually going to do that by switching out one of the files here. All right, so now I actually did go ahead and enable the safe list in daemon tool. And now I'm going to show you guys which daemons have been disabled. So I have a total of 17 daemons disabled. Not that you guys will really understand what these daemons do right now, but I just feel like it's necessary to show you guys that I have 17 daemons disabled right now. Now. So what I'm going to do is reboot for it to take effect. So I'm actually going to cut this video right here and I will resume it once my iPhone 4S has finished booting. All right, here we go. Now my iPhone 4S is back up and I'm going to bring down SB settings and show you guys how much RAM I have right now. Actually less, but what I'm going to do is bring up processes here and free up the memory. All right, so now I actually have 327 megabytes of available memory instead of 294. So that is a big difference when you're talking about a mobile device. And again, this is extremely easy to use. I just used the safe list and that comes by default with daemon tools from Cydia, so it requires no configuration whatsoever. It just disables 17 totally useless daemons that Apple has thrown into iOS that actually have no purpose whatsoever. So if you guys do not know what you're doing, I highly recommend just going with the safe list. There also is an extreme list that you can apply and you can actually edit it yourself. Now I'm going to show you what to actually do inside of Cydia and how to go about doing it. So obviously I'm just going to load up Cydia here. And like I said before, you will actually have to pay because this is through Insanely Eyes VIP section. So what you have to do is actually add this repo right here. It is repo.insanelyi.com. And what you actually have to do is go on your computer and you have to basically buy the VIP package from their website, enter in your device's UDID to their website, and then download VIP packages from their repo and you will have access to daemon tools. So I'm actually going to back out here and go to packages and actually show you guys what I'm talking about. So here it is, it's called daemon tools iOS 5. I'm going to scroll down here and it just provides some information about the daemons right here. And it actually tells you what daemon tools can do. And it also mentions why you would want to enable the extreme list and that it's not for all users because it does disable game center access as well as a couple other things. But like I said, you can edit it so it doesn't disable game center access. And so you can disable other daemons that you feel are not needed for you specifically. So it also lists all of the commands here, it provides you with a list of all the safe daemons, and it tells you that you can customize your own list and it gives you a guide right here. Now I'm actually going to go over that guide when I go in and show you guys how to edit it. And in order to edit it, you're going to need something like iFile or you're going to need to know how to SSH into your device. So both both of which are extremely easy. And I'm actually just going to demonstrate it with iFile because I feel that that's going to be the easiest way to actually show 
you guys instead of filming it on my computer. We will go over into iFile. So inside of iFile, you're gonna back up all the way to the back and you're going to go to ETC and daemon tools, and then you have two lists right here. You have extreme and safe. I highly recommend modifying the extreme list if you feel like modifying anything at all. But just be warned, if you add certain daemons to one of your lists and you enable that list, then it could potentially have negative repercussions to your device, such as not allowing it to boot up or booting into recovery mode, which would result in a required restore. So I highly recommend if you do not know what you're doing and you do not feel comfortable editing one of the lists yourself and adding certain daemons, that you just go with the safe list which again is installed by default and it's activated by default after you install daemon tools ios 5 and reboot your device but let's actually get into this i'm going to show you guys the safe list first in text viewer and as you can see these are the 17 daemons that it disables by default now i'm going to go over and go to extreme list now i actually edited this myself so it's a little bit different than how the extreme list comes by default with daemon tools ios 5. so this is tailored to me and it's tailored to my needs and what i feel like i should disable from my iPhone and it works extremely well and it gives me a little bit more RAM than what I get with the safe list. And I actually recommend disabling a couple things if you feel comfortable. One of which is the top one, it's adminlight.plist and basically that will actually force close certain applications on your device if it actually deems it necessary to conserve RAM. So basically if you have too many applications open and if you try and open another application then it will force close that application automatically without your permission. So it's basically like a RAM management tool that is built inside of iOS. And again, I highly recommend adding it to this list so it disables it. Now here's a list of all the daemons on my iPad here. And I will have a link to this on the post that's down below in the more info. So you guys will be able to access this. It gives you all of the safe daemons here that are disabled. And it also gives you conditional daemons. And it explains what each one does. So if you're going to disable daemons, you do need to come over here and you do need to read this and you need to see what certain daemons do and what you can disable. And as I said before, for this one, com.apple.adminlight.plist, it says this daemon tries to return control of your device to you if it thinks you're waiting for a lengthy process to respond. It does this by force quitting the process. So if you're tired of apps crashing and you would rather wait a few seconds for them to finish whatever they're doing, disable this daemon. So it can actually even crash certain applications when you're in the middle of something. Thing. And again, if you're tired of that, then add this daemon to one of the lists. So once you go through and you find all the daemons you want to disable, all you have to do is add them to your list. And again, you can do that via iFile or SSHing into your device and editing the file itself, and then just saving it and applying it through mobile terminal. Now, again, in order to change the list, you will need access to mobile terminal. I'm going to show you guys how to get mobile terminal on iOS 5 by going into Cydia. And again, this does work on 5.0.1 as well. All you have to do is go to the manage tab at the bottom, sources, and you have to add this source right here. It's ijailbreak.com forward slash repository. Once you add that source, you can go down to the bottom, go to mobile terminal, and then you will need to install it and confirm the install. Once you have installed it, you can go to mobile terminal and you can use it. In order to actually access daemon tools and access the list of commands, you will actually have to log in to super user. Now in order to do that, you just go SU space ROOT for super user root, and then you hit return. It asks you for the password. By default, it is Alpine, A-L-P-I-N-E, and then you hit return again. Once you are logged into super user, you can enter daemon tool, that's D-A-E-M-O-N-T-O-O-L, to get a list of all the commands. And now I'm just going to enable the extreme one really quick. All right, now that the extreme one is enabled, I'm actually going to show you guys which daemons will be disabled by typing in daemon tool space minus list. And as you can see, these are all the ones that will be disabled. It's more than 17. And I'm just going to reboot the 4S so that the changes will take effect. And I'm going to show you guys how much RAM I've saved this time. So I will come back once my iPhone has finished rebooting. All right, so now my iPhone 4S has finished booting up and I'm going to bring down SB settings here and 
as I said before, it will display a number there that seems kind of low until you go to processes and you free up some of the memory there. And then once it's freed up, you can exit out of it and bring it back down and it should display a more accurate number. So as you can see now, mine is displaying 354 megabytes. So that's definitely a lot better than what we had before. And it is certainly better than what we had when we did not disable any of the daemons, which was 294. So that is a huge jump and that does speed up your device overall exponentially so everything is faster things run much smoother and you can actually handle running more applications at once so now i'm actually going to show you guys how you can disable them manually i do not recommend this method because it is more dangerous than using daemon tools ios 5 so i'm actually going to bring up ifile here again All right, so inside of iFile, or you can add SSH into your device and you can do it manually, you're going to go to System Library Launch Daemons. So if you didn't catch that, you just go to the beginning here, you go to System Library, and then you find Launch Daemons. And inside of Launch Daemons, you have all of these plists here. Now, these are your actual daemons, and it works a little bit different than daemon tools. In this case, you want to delete the ones that you don't want. You do not add them to a list and you do not type them out for disabling. You actually have to go in and you have to manually delete all of the daemons you do not want. So this method is not safe at all and it has the potential to, again, force you to restore your iDevice. But if you do not want to pay for VIP access on the Insanely iRepo, you can do it with this method. However, first I recommend backing up all of your launch daemons in a folder somewhere, like on your computer, and then actually going through, picking out the ones you don't want, and then rebooting. And that way, if you ever need to restore all of your daemons, you can go back to your computer, take them out of that file, and put them back through SSH. Uh, you can't really do this with iFile. I'm just showing you guys through iFile to look at them because uh, you will need to do a lot of switching back and forth between Safari or looking at your computer to see which ones you do not want. And I have an actual tutorial for this on the post that's on my website down below. However, I do not recommend this method, but it's also just in the post that covers Daemon Tools iOS 5. So I hope you guys liked this video. I know it will certainly speed up your iDevice and and you will be able to handle more applications at once. Like I said, you will also notice a smoother device overall. Hope you guys liked it. Please remember to rate it up if you did. If you have any comments, leave them down below in the comment section. And be sure to hit that subscribe button if you aren't already subscribed. And until next time, this is ICU signing out.